Hey there, if you're looking for a fun and easy way to earn rewards, including cash and prizes, check out the link in the video description. Oh, and September 26, 2018, 10 prominent U.S. college sports figures were arrested in connection with a federal investigation into fraud and corruption. Specifically, the government alleged that business managers and financial advisors had bribed basketball coaches to secure business with NBA-bound players and that a senior executive with Adidas had further conspired with them to funnel payments to high school players and their families in exchange for their commitment to Adidas-sponsored college sports programs. The scandal, which ensnared top NBA draft pick DeAndre Ayton, Hall of Fame coach Rick Pitino and Kobe Baker, the associate athletic director at Alabama, one of the country's premier talent factories, was a black eye for the NCAA, the Keystone Cops who style themselves as virtuous defenders of amateurism in college sports while reaping billions off the backs of student-athletes, the majority of them black and quite economically disadvantaged. The extent of the scheme wasn't fully understood until one of the schemers, a middle-aged moneyman named Marty Blazer, was turned into an FBI informant. There's a saying in law enforcement of being half a cop, says true crime writer Guy Lawson, when you're the criminal but you start to think cops are cool. Marty became a motivated cooperator. He became an inventive one. Lawson's latest non-fiction book, Hot Dog Money, is Blazer's Goodfella story, one largely told from Lawson's one-on-one -on -one interviews with Blazer, Blazer's diary entries from the time and more than two years of Lawson digging through troughs of legal documents. Rather than providing another ruling on Blazer, Hot Dog Money cross-examines the seedy culture that created him and still makes college sports the major American spectacle that it is. The book's title comes from Blazer's term of art for the financial favors he traded for his own ends until his sentencing on multiple federal fraud charges forced his government cooperation. In the sporting press, Blazer was likened to Pacino's Frank Serpico, the renegade cop who took down his flawed institution. In reality, Lawson found Blazer closer to Ray Liotta's Henry Hill, a wise guy who'd still be living the high life if the music never stopped. Lawson, who also wrote The Brotherhoods, about two cops who worked for the mob, and War Dogs, about the stoner gun runners from Miami who inspired the film starring Jonah Hill and Miles Teller, is as reliable a narrator as they come. I didn't go to school in America, he says. I grew up in Canada, Australia, and England. I watch American sports the way you might watch Formula One. As Lawson tells it, Blazer didn't set out to become the shady archetype best known to college sports fans as the bag man. He was a mid-level financial advisor making six figures trading stocks and bonds with a client roster that slowly grew to include select members of the NFL's Pittsburgh Steelers. The story of William Tank Black, the powerful football agent indicted for running a Ponzi scheme fueled with Detroit Coke money, sparked Blazer's larger ambitions. Blazer teamed up with an agent and recruited football players from Pennsylvania colleges with the aim of attaching himself to future pros. That's where the hot dog money came in. Blazer didn't just pass cash-filled envelopes under the table. He sent money home to players' struggling families, supplied them with luxury cars, paid for lavish trips to Miami and Las Vegas, and comped their inevitable strip club binges. Sometimes he'd arrange to have girls flown in for parties closer to campus. The girls are being trafficked, the kids are being trafficked, says Lawson. Forget morality, how do you even describe the decency of it all? This is what the swirling of a flushing toilet looks like. In a typical hot dog money scheme, a college player receives cash in the form of a forgivable loan with the understanding that the bagman's aboveboard services will be retained once the player turns pro. Depending on the player, the bagman can make his money back many times over in boring management fees. A proudly devoted husband and father of three, Blazer was more interested in helping his clients make the most out of a corrupt system and went the extra mile to look out for them, paying for information that could help clients avert potential disaster. In one memorable instance, he saved a player from marrying a stripper prostitute who had been deployed by her pimp for.